Anatomy of the extensor indices muscle. The extensor indices muscle is part of the fourth extensor dorsal compartment of the forearm. The origin of the extensor indices muscle is deep to the extensor digitorum communis muscle, EDC muscle. It originates from the posterior surface of the ana and the interosseous membrane and it inserts into the extensor expansion of the index finger. Notice that the extensor indices muscle is deep and honor to the extensor digitorum communis muscle. The extensor indices muscle belly extends most distally. It had the most distal muscle belly of the fourth dorsal extensor compartment, which is very helpful in identification of this muscle when lacerations occur involving multiple tendons. As you can see here in the cross section, this muscle is present in the fourth dorsal compartment of the rest, in addition to the extensor digitorum communis. The extensor indices tendon is honor to the extensor digitorum communis tendon. Nervation. The extensor indices muscle is supplied by the posterior interosseous nerve, which is part of the radial nerve. Function. It extends the index finger and it helps to extend the rest. How do you examine for the extensor indices muscle? It is examined by having the patient make a fist and then extend the index finger. So there are two tendons responsible for extension of the index finger. The extensor indices, which is located under to the slip that comes from the extensor digitorum communis, and the second tendon is the extensor digitorum communis. So we have two extensor tendons for the index finger. We can borrow one of them, usually the extensor indices, to transfer it to the thumb if we need to. That's why the extensor indices tendon is sometimes transferred surgically to replace a torn extensor pollicis longus tendon. The extensor pollicis longus tendon sometimes becomes ruptured due to fracture of the distal radius. It occurs especially in patients when the fracture is not displaced. And that rupture of the extensor pollicis longus tendon can also occur from rubbing against hardware, especially in plates and the screws. The patient will not be able to extend the thumb because the patient ruptured the extensor pollicis longus tendon. In these situations, the repair will not be helpful or successful. Tendon transfer is the procedure of choice, and the tendon we transfer is the extensor indices. We usually section the extensor indices proximal to the sagittal hood to maintain an independent extension of the index finger. In some cases of rheumatoid arthritis, the extensor digitorum communis tendon to the index finger may be ruptured, and in this case, extensor indices transfer is contraindicated. Another situation of tendon transfer of the extensor indices is median nerve injury. We use the extensor indices opponent's plasty. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.